Hi, this is Tony with O'Brien Dental Lab. Today we're going to be talking about polishing full contour zirconia crowns after making occlusal adjustments. Keep in mind, if it looks like only minor adjustments need to be made, you could consider adjusting the opposing dentition before altering the zirconia. You will also want to ensure that the patient does not close down heavily on the crown while you are checking the contacts and the occlusion. You only want very light occlusal contact until the crown has been cemented. It's very important to restore the zirconia to a very highly polished luster. If you do need to make any adjustments to the zirconia crown, it's important to know that once the surface of the zirconia has been roughened, it will not become smooth over time. Rough zirconia will cause excessive wear on the opposing teeth, so it must be avoided. Highly polished zirconia, however, has minimal wear on the opposing tooth structure. This is why it's important that once you have altered any of the polished surface of the zirconia crown, that you make sure that all of the roughened areas are mechanically smooth, utilizing rubber wheels and rubber points. You must then finish with a polishing paste to achieve a high luster. The occlusal surface of any zirconia restoration should never be glazed. There are several great polishing systems available such as Dilite ZR rubber wheels and rubber points, Ceramel dots, and Zircon Bright polishing paste. All of these polishing systems can be used chairside for polishing roughened zirconia as well as Emacs, PFMs, and composite restorations. When reducing high points on a zirconia crown, use a Dilite ZR rubber wheel or a football shaped finishing diamond to make these adjustments. Once the occlusal has been adjusted, use a medium polishing wheel or a medium polishing point to shine and remove all the roughness from the surface of the zirconia crown. Next, utilize a fine polishing wheel or a fine polishing point to high shine the entire occlusal surface, making sure there is no rough areas remaining on the crown. The last step is to use a ceramic dot point or a zircon bright polishing paste to bring the zirconia surface to a high luster, then clean and cement. Something to be cautious of is that excessive pressure with a handpiece or heat generation can cause flaws which can lead to propagation of cracks and even failure of the crown during this process. And as always, we'd be more than happy to repolish the crown for you at the laboratory. If you have any further questions concerning these procedures, please don't hesitate to call me at the lab. Call Tony.